what a big afternoon for both these clubs, Kevin, for very different reasons. Yeah, total opposite ends of the table. We know that for Chesterfield, you know, the atmosphere here is a party atmosphere. Can Bourne would spoil it, I think. With that strike partnership of Unlove and Shimanga, they can cause problems for this Chesterfield defence. We know they've had a few problems in that area. It's harsh just to point at the defence, but we know they've conceded too many for a championship team. But going forward, both teams, it's the biggest threat. Chesterfield hoping today is the day. Boreham Wood aim to spoil the party and boost their hopes of survival. Lots of incentive for both of these teams. And such a sense of anticipation here in Derbyshire. Towards Mandeville opens up the space. I mean, it's a good save from Ashmore in the end. It's a good start to the game from Chesterfield. A Whelan has sized this up. Harry Tyra, the Chesterfield goalkeeper on loan from Everton. Former Chesterfield player stood over this. Whelan to strike it. And pushed away and. Just wide as Unlove was looking to fall down. I think that must have moved in the air a bit. Quigley. Mandeville in the box. Jacobs in there too. Still Quigley. It'll be a corner. That's much better from Quigley. It's been quite so far in this game. We just need him to stretch that. Back three, back five of Bourne, but just to allow those spaces to appear for those players like Jacobs and Naylor and Jones, Dobber and Mandeville to pick up the spaces and he really needs to stretch this back five of, of Bourne Wood. Yeah, good block from Sass Davies. In comes the corner, and in he goes! It's the captain! On Chesterfield's big day! A man who's led by example right throughout the season. Jamie Grimes breaks the deadlock. And look at that big smile. Says it all, doesn't it? It's another step towards the title. Well, this could be a huge goal for Chesterfield and those fans that run at the club. Just felt the first goal was going to be massive in this game. A brilliant ball from Mandeville. And there he is, free. No one near him, simple header, four yards out, goalkeeper, no chance. Does it come much easier than that? It's poor defending from Bournemouth, but easy task for Grimes. He's had a fantastic season, a great leader of this team. A goal that will mean a lot to him. His first since August. No outfield player has played more minutes this season for Chesterfield in the National League than that man. Almost apt, isn't it, Kevin, that he scores the opening goal on this big day? Women's Clasico in Spain coming up tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Real Madrid against Barcelona. You can catch that on TNT Sports 2. If you've never seen Barcelona women's side in action, well worth watching them. And Chelsea look to complete the job against Ajax. Second leg of their quarter-final in the Women's Champions League coming up during the week. King. Dobra. Looking for the room for the ball in. And held on to by Ashman. Ilisami. Who was your favourite centre half you came up against for a battle? Probably John Terry, I think. Was it? Yeah, it was just fair. We got a beer after together, regardless of how much we kicked each other. But yeah, it was, I enjoyed playing against John. Good, honest battle. And love with the effort. Chesterfield have not won a promotion on their own ground since Easter Monday 1936 when Hartlepool were beaten 2-0 by 
at the old Salter Gate to clinch promotion from Division 3 North. Can they complete their promotion push here today, the Spyrites, after a quite amazing season? Here's Dobra, looking to make a fast start, and they do! Mandeville with the second! Inside 30 seconds of the restart! Simple finish for Liam Mandeville. What a season he's had. A massive part of his team on and off the field, and that will really settle the nerves now. The pie's just about beginning to start. Set up the first, he scored the second, and they'll be lifting, you would think, the real trophy in about an hour's time. It right back as well, filling in there, doing a job for the team. He's a real good team player. Cookie will be delighted to have him in his squad. Really infectious character as well. And Love is in behind, but couldn't keep it down. Set up well by Shimanga, and that's a good chance to get one back. Halton. Jones plays a really important role in the side, Jones. to stay for King had a go. We know the quality of the delivery Mandeville is capable of. Just kept in by a determined Dobra. He looks to hit the byline, they're queuing up in the middle. Oh, it's in! It's another one! And Chesterfields! Chesterfield go to York next, they host Kidderminster after that, two sides fighting the drop. And Boreham Woods fight against relegation, sees them host Dagnan and Redbridge next, and then they go to South End. Banks. A little joke with his former teammate there, Whelan. Garrard is suggesting to his players to call, come over to the near side of the pitch, mindful of the fact that there's well, clearly going to be a pitch invasion here. It's not going to be able to be stopped that. I can understand why they're saying that. They don't want any incident with any of their players. Let's hope everybody is sensible here. 
You can understand everybody wanting to celebrate. It's a big release of emotion, but... Promoted! Paul Cook's champions! Yeah! team that has thrilled its way to the National League title. Back to the Football League they go. It is a moment that means so much. The Spyrite six-year exile is over. It is a triumph for persistence. The near misses, last year's most of all, have fueled their fire. And now this, this is the reward. A town that will celebrate long into the night. A club, a fan base with a lot to look forward to. Chesterfield are the National League champions of 2024. Yeah, well deserved, Adam. Nobody can begrudge them this moment. They've been outstanding from start to finish as early as in end of March. So they deserve everything. So now, as a Matthew, group, we're going to win. As a management team, ownership, they've done it right. They've done it in the right way. And they deserve this moment. They really will enjoy tonight. Jamie Grimes there has epitomised them, led them. And it's all come from hard work and the quality, obviously, of the players that they have as well, yes. But as a club, they've done it in the right way. And enjoy the night, boys. Two goals for the captain, Grimes, who certainly is led by example this season. Another one for Mandeville, another player who's been absolutely outstanding for them this season. Seven goals, 19 assists, and Chesterfield have done it. They are promoted back to the Football League with plenty of time to spare, Matt. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Kevin. I'm sure you're enjoying this. Every Chesterfield fan, really, by and large, every football fan should know, wants to know what moments like this feel like. Of course, it's a tough day for Boreham Wood. They have work to do to maintain their status, but Chesterfield will wave goodbye to the National League in the best possible way. You drink it in, you soak it up, and you enjoy it. champions it is I'm sure the best feeling Gary Mills and Aaron McLean alongside me for a player which you've both been for a coach or a manager for anybody connected with the club Gary these are the days oh this is what it's all about you know all the hard work sleepless nights um, I, I know Cookie is a manager and I've been a manager that you go to bed you dream it you know, it just never goes away. Um, magical moments, but, you know, hard work. It's not about today, it's from losing at Wembley last season and from the next day, how do I go about the following season? That started then. Yeah. So he's going to deserve his uh, glass of whatever he drinks tonight. <laughs> uh, and that will taste very, 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 very nice. I think we know what he likes. <laughs> he likes something cold and fizzy. <laughs> and he'll have one or two and he'll deserve them, Maka, because, as Gary says, John Crew talked to me at the National League Awards last summer, said, we're going to make it ours next season, we are not going to leave no stone unturned, and they haven't. They absolutely haven't. Matt, I remember a couple of years ago us being here when they played against Torquay, and it was doom and gloom, you know, the, the Paul Cook came out and said, look, yeah. the only reason I've come back here, I don't need to be here, I've come back here because it's a club that I love and I want to help them get back into the Football League. This will feel so sweet for him. Yeah. You know, this will mean so much because he's right, he didn't have to come back here, but it was a challenge that he wanted to take on. And these, these fans, you know, th these are moments that, that live with you forever. You know, look back through our careers. Yeah. These are the most important moments and they need to make sure that they, they savour every single second of it.